chopping vegetables for dinner and tying his own shoes. Just two of the things this British amputee can now do thanks to his new bionic hand. Just in his outlook on life and what he wants to do now, like more involved with his spur and um, he can get to grips with more around the house, can't he? Yeah, cooking. No, no, no. Well, <laughs> get to grips. <laughs> yeah. Things with the children. Engineers say there are multiple sensors in the bionic hand that help process its movement. It's a bit like driving a car. If you imagine when you go to hit the brakes, you don't think, I need to move my foot to hit the brakes. The user eventually thinks, thinks open and close and it, it will work. Engineers say it's a sophisticated level of design that will be accessible to the mass market. The manufacturer plans to sell more than 700 of these hands each year for twelve to $19,000 a piece. Still, the manufacturer claims they've roughly halved the cost of a comparative electronic hand. This man lost his hand when he was 13 years old. I knew at the side of the railway line that I'd lost my leg. I didn't realise that I'd lost my arm because my arm was still intact. So, um, but at such a young age, yeah, it was quite quite traumatic and um, already having sort of like a, a future planned out from like 13, like doing sports or like doing, like doing military work. Now, decades later, and a married father of two, he and his family are grateful for the renewed opportunities he has, where something as simple as holding hands has become special. Naya Hawkins, Associated Press.